what's going on everyone it's greg back with some more mirror 4 and today we have our patch notes that's our update day every two weeks unfortunately the year anniversary events are not starting today so i'm gonna venture i'm gonna say there's probably like a good 75 80 percent chance they're starting next patch makes the most sense otherwise they'd have to start it after the 365th day um which they normally don't do that all the 100 day events usually started like a little bit just before um so i'm thinking next patch when they do the merge we're also going to get that which is going to be a lot of stuff make sure you save your resources there'll be a reduced cost of um, glittering powder and life elixir to be cut in half and then um also the chance for greater success is going to be tripled so hold on to your stuff especially if you're not a whale and you can maximize your resources at that point in time uh, save up all those uh, materials now let's get into today's patch uh, again, unfortunately, we don't have the, uh, the event, so this one's a little bit lighter. And um, keep in mind, those servers that are getting merged are turning off some content here, like the heist is going to be turned off. Um, I'm not sure what else is going to get deactivated at what times, but those merge servers are going to be dying down until the merge, which is next update. And then from there, everything will have to be fought, fought for again. Everyone's going to have to fight for valleys again. Everyone's going to have to fight for castles again on those servers. So... Let's take a look what we got today. Altar of Darkness Renewal. This is some good news. I'm really happy for this. We'll talk about this in a second. New stage, Secret Pete ADF, Magic Square ADF, new boss raid, Ghostly Bogey, and new spirit alluring Spirit Cat Lulu. Alright, Altar of Darkness. Though the Altar of Darkness led to war with the natives <laughs> against expedition members, it will now be renewed, uh, expanding to also include internal conflicts within the server. Ooh, okay between the valley clan owner and the bishon castle ruling clan interesting against their opponents altar of darkness schedule it was every day which this was absolutely insane i mean the protection only lasted for three days um and then you could attack again but i mean come on man you could like expedition every other day whales who get more tickets we're going multiple days you know it, it, it could get pretty crazy um having to worry about it every single day so now it's only going to be on thursdays from the same usual um war time 2200 to 2300 um i think that's the usual time that the valley war happens unless it's at the same time it is yeah yeah, yeah. see it's now an hour later so it's going to be it's going to go to the same time that the valley and other main big events happen right at the same time only on thursdays now the only catch to this is what about the uh is, is this going to be happening at the same time as the Thursday event? The Attack of the Living Race. Um, I think that that is the same time. Because I think it happens. At, so that's that's going to be interesting. So it's going to happen at the same time as the Attack of the Race event. So it's going to create a lot more chaos around that event. Um, The owner. Pre-change. Uh, none. Post-change. Valley clan. Val Valley owner clan. What I don't know what this means. The owner. Oh, it's just saying that no one owned it before. That's kind of silly. Um, I, I mean, I don't think I don't know. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Participants defense was natives. OK, so it really was more saying the whole server needed to defend it, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because uh, it really only affects the owner anyway. So this is just to me, this is just a wording change. But this is different. The. uh the altar owner claim basically so this is okay this is what it means like this is the big change right so anyone who's not part of the alliance of the people that own that valley can attack their altar so the, then the offense is any natives or expedition uh not allied with the defense so there you go that's that's the reason for this change um so it basically means that the valley owner is the owner and that way basically anyone not allied with them is able to attack it so like, that makes more sense to me now altar name Previously, it just said the valley name plus the altar of darkness. Now it's going to say the clan name plus altar of darkness. Requirements for altar uh, HP restoration. Uh, previously, when one or more members of natives uh, are in within the circle, now it's when one or more members of the clan, the valley owner owning clan, are in the circle. Oh, only the owners of the uh, valley, not even the allies, can recover it. Result. When it's destroyed, Darksteel mining was minus 20% in the valley. Now, when destroyed, decreasing Darksteel tax rate to 7% from 15%. It's more than a 50% reduction. That's more than 50%. Jeez. Um, then, 
uh, decrease ambition castle dark steel tax rate per valley to 5% from 10%. So each valley um, can knock off half from that valley. So this is a pretty big change. Um, and now protection is maintained for four weeks. It doesn't say how long the penalty lasts. All right, here we go. Oh, here we go. The penalty on the tax rate will maintain until the re regeneration of the next altar of darkness. It will last until regenerated altar, regardless of changes in valley owner. Oh my goodness. So it lasts for an entire four weeks. Wow. Okay. That's pretty crazy. Um, that's a big they just chopping out the dark still, man. So even though it's not every day, you know, you can still attack a different um a different server each week. Like you can basically target like four different servers um to take this down on four different weeks. Alright, portal changes. Now we're getting Magic Square and Secret Peak 8F. Um, I wasn't expecting this. this is pretty cool um, and they are both available on expedition So I'm assuming you can go 7f and 8f on expedition and we will now have missions for both 7f and 8f um, That's pretty big for secret peak if the missions are the same then that kind of doubles the amount of Enhancement stones you can get uh, which is pretty cool um, pr Standard stuff here 8f uh, magic square is gonna be 130 to 145 mob, uh, mobs and then 8f secret peak is gonna be 135 to 145 um, at both, this really just helps alleviate congestion as people get higher. Uh, otherwise, you end up with too many people going for like Magic Square 7 3. Uh, a lot of servers aren't gonna have uh, much of an issue with this, but on the server I'm on right now, NA31, if you guys watched the stream yesterday, we had a huge war and we are filled with all kinds of people. Um, from all over, matter of fact, I'm not, I'm not even in the top 100, I went from being top three or four. On my server to not even being in the top 100 on power on na31 there is so much power on the server right now it's absolutely ridiculous it's overcrowded and it's utter chaos um so anyway get those um uh, it'll be interesting to see that on our server now one good thing about being on the server i'm on is the new boss rate is coming boss level 150 power score required 113,000. so this uh boss rate is going to um be pretty hard it, it should be pretty hard by the way since i'm on the server i'm on i should be able to get into one of these and record it and show you guys um how it is i was actually able to get on a hidden altar uh this morning which i hadn't been able to do yet so i got my first clear of that i did record it but i might pick another one to get the footage from i was really just carried um so that's pretty funny um spirits we get a new spirit legendary forest spirit alluring spirit cat lulu cute little thing um let's see this one has uh max a a hp max mp physical attack by 80 spell attack by 80 increased accuracy by 100 crit by 100 bash attack reduction by two nice pvp here um, definitely PvP spirit looking like so far. Increased monster damage reduction by 15%. And then we get a little bit of PvE. But then we get PvP attack damage boost. And lucky drop. Um, dimension seal. Okay, so this is a special increased enemies MP consumption by 20%. Decreases recovery from heal by 40%. Skill. Jeez, decreased recovery from heal. Nurse the heal. Um... Skill damage reduction by 10% for 12 seconds on attack. Cooldown of 48 seconds. So I'm wondering here, um, Greater Hill and Dark Ends Twirling will be unavailable for use. Interesting. Interesting. A very kind of niche PvP um, spirit here. Of course, Legendary, most people aren't going to get their hands on it, but maybe some whales. Um, my curi my curiosity here. I'm assuming this is an overall cooldown. So it, once it hits one person, it can't like can't retarget someone else and hit it off again. Um, that would be pretty OP, I would guess. So you're really targeting one person. Um, and so it almost seems like you know if you're using the spirit, you're kind of going for towels and things like that. Um, to try to get I guess disable the heals or you know you're hitting like a warrior. And reducing their heal their heal recovery from their supporting tiles um some interesting use cases here this is definitely a pvp spirit overall and um 
and definitely seems to have some nice use cases clan shop mystic stones and oh yes thank you thank you thank you we made this makes so much more sense mystic stones and dark stones will be purchasable in the clan shop upon occupying the hidden valley previously you can only get mystic stone mystic stones ambition or red moon and then dark stones and snake pit after both mystic and dark stones can be registered and purchased upon occupying any hidden valley okay so i'm assuming this comes on the tail end of some of the other changes to clans and kind of moving back and forth especially some people need to move to get stones um so this this is a very welcomed change um i i appreciate this change i don't think it ever really made a whole lot of sense for it to be separate um i mean i guess if you had didn't have a line I, there's some i guess early on in the game it kind of makes sense for maybe your first month or two but in reality i mean everyone needs both so you know holding one versus the other I, honestly the dark stones being on snake are kind of somewhat less valuable than the mystics in some cases um i mean you definitely have a lot more use case for mystic than you do for dark dark is for like retrying enchantments but everyone wants those mystics right so i don't know either way i think this is a great change i'm glad they did it in-game bug fixes and gameplay improvements the amount of dark steel acquisition on 6f and 7f in portal will be adjusted so i'm assuming 8f is already adjusted uh, and i'm assuming that this adjustment is a reduction um which i mean given the reduction they did on the valleys would make sense uh fix on conquest tutorial being unavailable okay adjustment on drop chances of snow panics and oils in mystery wedding vow i'm not even sure what that applies to um i don't even know when do you ever have an increased drop chance of snow panics and oil in the mystery i don't recall that unless there is some rewards that are just reducing but that doesn't make sense to say drop chance i don't know fix on irregular exposure of name for npc raid token trader fix on a progression of certain requests being unavailable okay maximum enchant repeat number and auto enchant will increase from 100 to 999 i'm sure some whales will appreciate that and that's all we got so guys i appreciate you tuning in if you haven't yet hit that like button please i'll greatly appreciate it if you're not subscribed you hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on i'll catch you guys in the next video and keep in mind we will have a few more streams on na31 this week with a lot more pvp probably be a stream tomorrow on tuesday for the uh, big boss fight and then of course the valley war on wednesday and probably even this new altar of darkness on thursday lots of action to come stay tuned Again, make sure you turn those notifications on if you want to find out about it first. Catch you guys in the next video.